Okay, welcome back everyone. This is our weekly NeoVim plugin. Um, today we are covering diff view. Diff view is a single tab page interface for easily cycling through diffs for all modified files for any Git revision. Essentially, it allows you to see all of your Git change or your changes um, and diffs, your Git diffs, all in one place. So you open, you run a command, and it opens a whole new tab with all of the changes in your Git repository, which is nice because um, <clears throat> for me in the past, it's been really hard to see all of the changes that I've made throughout all of my files all in one place. I only use the view for one specific use case. We'll cover that later in the video, but I'll also show, show you some basic usage. Let's get started with how to install it and then how to configure it. And, uh, and then we'll jump in with usage. So for me, I use Packer to install my plugins and go into Lua plugins. That's where I put all of my plugins here. Search for diff view and you can see here, I just uh, added the line use and then syndrits diff view dot nvim. This uh, syndrits diff view nvim is just the name of the repository up here. You can see here is just the name of the repository in GitHub. Packer is smart enough to know, hey, this is a GitHub repo that you're pointing to, so let's install it. Once I have it in there, I go into my init.lul where I will require require it and call it the setup function. So you can see here, I call diff view, require diff view, and then call the setup function. I don't have any special configuration set for diff view because I don't, like I said, I only use it for one specific use case. Okay, if you're curious to know all of the default configurations, go to the GitHub repository in the readme. And then down below, you can see, they have a section on configuration. Expand this little arrow, and uh, you can see all of the example configs with the default values. Um, quite a bit here, so you can customize it to your liking. All right, so let's jump in to uh, why we may need diff view. Um, for me, I don't know if this is the case for you, but it's always been really hard for me to track changes across the entire Git repository. Normally what I end up doing is I, own, I, op I open a terminal. So I just press control slash there to open the terminal. And then I do a git status to see what my changes are. In this case, I have no changes, but let's make a change just for the purpose of this demonstration. We'll add a comment here to my init.lua. This is a comment. And then save that and then do another git status in my terminal. Okay, so I can see here I have a change. All right, so I want to add that change. I would add it. And then what exactly did I change? Maybe I'll do like a git diff. Um, we won't do that. This change changes. Git restore staged. So I would, before I stage it normally, um, I would do like a git diff to see what my changes are. All right, and I can see here that my changes are that I added a comment. Okay, great. So I would have to remember that. Go back here, stage those files, and then run a commit and be like, okay, uh, made a comment. And then push. And you know, that's just a hassle, you know, I have to remember what changes I made. I, I still, it's still very hard for me to see the changes that I've made throughout the entire repository, especially if it's a big repository with a lot of changes made. So that's where diff view comes in. Um, diff view, so allows you to see all of the changes that you've made. So let's, uh, let's make some more changes here. Let's make them in multiple files. So add more comments to init.lua. And let's go to plugins.lua and make a comment here too. This is a comment in plugin.lua. All right, so now I have two changes in two files. What I would do here now is run, go into command mode and run diff view open. And this will open a whole new tab with all of the files that you've made or all of the changes that you made in your files. So in this case, um, it looks like it didn't pick, well, I didn't save my init.lua file. That's why I didn't pick it up. But you can see the comment in my plugin.lua file. To close this tab, you would go back into command mode and type diff view close. All right, now let's go back into my init.lua file 
and actually save that and run the same command diff view open. So now you can see the changes in the two files. Um, so you would switch between buffers like how you normally would. For me, the hotkey is command or control W L to go to the left buffer. And then you can kind of explore these changes here. So you can see here that um, I've added two lines to this file. That's great. So if you go back to your file explorer on the left, you can um, use your you know normal Vim bindings, J and K, to move up and down. Use um, tab to go in between changes. And you can even hit enter. Oh, you can't do hit enter on that. But if you wanted to expand directories, you can hit enter for that. Um, but that's how you would cycle through your changes. You could stage your changes from here as well. So diff view allows you to do that. If you hit G question mark, you can see all of the changes here or all, all of the, um, excuse me, commands that you can run and all of the hotkeys that you have available to you. But that's not why I use diff view. The primary purpose for me of diff view is to look at changes on in a specific file and look at all of their rev their Git revisions. Um, so essentially show me a diff view of, of the file and a history of the file and then allow me to go back to a certain revision of that file. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to close this out, press Q, and then diff view close to close out this tab. And then um, this is my init.lua file. If I just want to look at this specific um, init.lua file and their changes, I would hit or I would run diff view file history. And you can see here all of the different kinds of changes I've made uh, to this file. So if you wanted to view a specific revision, just hit enter on that revision. Um, in it .lua, and there you have it. Now you can view the difference between the current revision that you're on and the revision that uh, you've selected. So that's really neat. So you can grab code that maybe you've deleted in the past, or maybe you're just curious to know what um, what changes were made to a specific file in a specific revision or in a specific commit, which I really like to do. I, I do this all the time. Um, and sometimes I even just go back to a revision. To do that, you can see here, if you hit G question mark, you can um, um, press Shift X or capital X to restore a file to the state from the selected entry. So you can restore it back to a previous commit very easily, very quickly. So that's what I really like about diff view. Um, maybe next week we'll uh, look into another plugin called NeoGit, which I really use, which I really like. NeoGit allows you to view the same thing, but also I think it's a little more intuitive. Um, you can see all the changes all in one place, the recent commits, and you can make commits, push, pull, revert, cherry pick, and do all of this all through NeoGit, which is really cool. Also integrates with diff view, which makes it very nice. So that is diff view. Thank you very much.